We're here today to take a look at one of the lesser brands at the channel. The biggest brand that dominates my channel, and just about any sneaker channel out there, is Nike, which takes up about 75-80% of world uh, you know, sneaker sales. And because of that, the amount of shoes they pump out and therefore the amount of videos I make about Nike is huge. Followed by that is Adidas. They take up most of the other time uh, with the videos. But then there's one or two that slip in, like uh, Asics or Reebok. Uh, and then today with this new balance, I've only only done I would say maybe a handful six or seven New Balance sneakers but it just so happens that one of them was this Boing, there's the New Balance uh, Levi's and you're like whoa hold on a minute I thought today's video was about the New Balance Levi's but that's a video I did about a year ago when New Balance and Levi's tied it up for this first in my opinion, first generation Levi's shoe. There might be ones before that I just didn't notice or haven't seen. Definitely let me know in the comments down below if there have been previous Levi's shoes with the New Balance line. Uh, but that's uh, that's where I sort of started with my uh, knowledge of New Balance and Levi's tying up. And then today, here we come with this season's uh, variant and they have three different colorways. So without further ado, let's get into it and have a look at all three of the upcoming releases of the New Balance uh, 327 Levi's. This is Tokyo Bara 23 Sneaker Channel. Tokyo Bara 23 Sneaker Channel. This my name is Jason Nude. My name is Mitiko Dosai. And every single day from Tokyo, Japan, I bring you content about upcoming sneaker releases, sneaker news, and sneaker reviews. And today, what we've got to look at is an upcoming release of a New Balance. Now, I've had my eye on this shoe for ages, and I haven't just been able to find the right quality of stuff. For example, the pictures I throw up behind me, I hate it when they're pixelated or a little bit out of focus. So I always try and wait for really clean pictures to bring you guys the best look the shoe and finally I found these these pictures of all three of them and like I said there's three different colorways in this pack the uh, New Balance 327 denim pack they're calling it because it's a tie up with the Levi's brand and of course Levi's is best known for jeans uh, and uh, and I don't you know I'm not not a big knowledgeable person about New Balance shoes you know I can tell you about the design I can tell you about the hits of branding on there where to look on this shoe for the specific details that will make you maybe want to go out and buy a pair or not uh, but when it comes to like New Balance I just don't have the same kind of knowledge that I have with Nike and Adidas uh, so as you know if I miss out on something if I forget to say something or if I get something just plain wrong definitely let me know in the comments down below and that way next time I do a New Balance video I won't get it wrong uh, so uh, to me though when New Balance ties it up with Levi's it's like ultra super Americana uh, Levi's is a massive American brand denim jeans and all that and I think I'm right in saying that New Balance is also a very big American brand that sometimes gets a bit of bad press for the wrong reasons. I think uh, what we would maybe call fake news has been applied to New Balance and they've been tarnished in a way that maybe isn't fair because uh, they've been claimed to be one thing when they aren't. So, uh, uh, you know, but I, I try and treat everybody equally and try and treat every shoe equally at my channel. So hopefully what I'll be able to do to you today is just bring you that information and we'll leave the politics out of it. Unless you want to mash it up in the comments down below. So definitely let me know if you've got an opinion about all of that. Uh, but with that being said, let's get into it and look at these three different colorways. Now, the big feature on these shoes for me is this sort of half and half effect that's going on on just one pair. Now, I'm sure, I'm absolutely sure they've designed all three colorways to have a half and half effect, but it only really comes off on this pair right here. Uh, and I think I'm right in saying that's the washed denim colorway. I hope I've got that right, the, the name of the colorway, but the, the, the lateral side and the medial side of the shoes are distinctly different from each other and that's very easy to see in this picture here but then if we look at the other two let's go with the gray ones first and you get an idea of the way the left and the right parts of the shoe have a slight difference but it's not so pronounced as on those washed denims and then if we flip that out to the other the third uh, shoe in this pack you can see again there is a certain amount of difference between the lateral and the medial sides but we come back to the first one you see that really big pop of difference uh, so for me all three of them are trying to go for that kind of half and half effect but only one of them really heavily pulls it off and when I say pulls it off pulls it off in a big way I think it's a very cool look to the shoe uh, and we'll stay with that and go to the lateral side and have a look at just one of those colors because of the duality between the left and the right the medial and the lateral sides it's better just to look at one of those uh, and I'll tell you right off the bat that I'm not usually a fan of these big ends uh, I kind of like the way the standard New Balance N is sort of part of the upper and sort of with 
within the boundaries of the upper, but this end seems to sort of stretch beyond the kind of boundaries of the upper and it gets very close to the midsole and very close to the lacing system. And for me, I kind of don't like it. Apologies to New Balance fans out there. Uh, but on these shoes, it really, really works. I don't know if it's to do with the colorways or to do with the actual silhouette of this shoe or if it's to do with the branding uh, that comes right on the end of that. If you go right to the end of those huge ends, the one tiny little place where you see Levi's on the outside of these shoes is that tiny little red branding panel that hangs off of the M. And it's almost like the red little Levi's branding panel you'd get on a pair of jeans. Uh, and speaking of that, I did say that this is the one place on the outside of the shoe. There is a place on the inside of the shoe where you can see the Levi's again. And if we look down from above and have a look into the insole, you'll see that it says there Levi's four feet, I think is what it says, which I think is really, really cool. Uh, Levi's has traditionally been just about jeans, as in the ones you wear on your legs. Uh, but of course, denim jackets would take you up uh, to the top half as well, but now stretching out into shoes. Uh, maybe the Levi's will start as, uh, you know, to expand its own shoe business and try and take a chunk of the market uh, on the back of shoes like these. Now, I do have a question about the actual structure of these shoes. When I looked at this picture here, I was really surprised to see how deep the instep cuts on the medial side. And you can see it's quite pronounced. I wish they'd shown us uh, the midsole, not the midsoles, the outsoles on these, because if you looked at them from below, you'd really see how deeply the instep on the medial side of the shoe cuts in. And I don't know if that's just a feature of the silhouette or as a particular element of this tie-up and this collaboration with, with Levi's. Uh, but it was a surprise to me. And like I said, I don't know New Balance well enough to tell you that that's just a standard feature of the 327s or if it's something to do with this collaboration. And again, if people know, definitely tell me in the comments down below because that's the kind of stuff that I like to hear about. Uh, and since we're on that sort of mid-sole, mid-foot, uh, outsole kind of element of the shoe, we might as well go to where it's most pronounced, which is on the heel of these guys. And you can see how very much it sort of dominates the heel of the shoe, the way that the outsole wraps up around. I mean, we, we hear about toe rolls a lot, um, but you know, heel roll, not so much maybe, but in the case of these guys, it really does come up and dominate the top part of the shoe and the heel there and, and uh, looking at this one hopefully what I've done is I've shown you one of the gum sole ones uh, because if we flip that out you'll see that the grey pair actually has a black outsole on it and then the third pair uh, back to the gum sole again so two gum soles and one black on the on the outsole of these shoes so um, so let's just pull it back out and have a look at the you know the whole shoe in fact you know what I'll do is I'll put up my thumbnail one of my favorite things to do with the channel is to play uh, with sets of shoes that come down the line like this where uh, you've got exactly the same silhouette but on three different colorways and then you can chunk it up into three different sections so hopefully what you're seeing here is the shoe sort of cropped together and smashed together into one big hybrid shoe so uh, so thinking about that you know the, the total of the shoe very stripped back very subtle uh, kind of I don't know simple Levi tie up with the New Balance line if you think back to the ones I talked about before I think they were 1300s and that was a much more substantial shoe with a lot more quality in it it's a lot more sort of premium materials but then you come back to today's shoe and it's very much stripped back and much simpler but there's three different colorways going on as whereas the ones we talked about last year was just that one colorway so uh, so you're getting three times as much but the quality is not quite as there if you're asking me uh, okay I think that's enough for me for this uh, this video hope you appreciate that take on the New Balance Levi's this denim pack three different colorways coming from the New Balance line and definitely I love to learn from having this channel definitely tell me in the comments down below anything that I've missed about um, about either Levi's or New Balance because it's an area that I just don't have expertise in and this is the way I get to learn is by people telling me in the comments down below so definitely 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 hit me up with a comment and tell me if I've missed something or if there's something that can help me do a better review in another time uh, and I did say um, the drop day I'm trying to remember it's like November 11th or something like that I don't think I mentioned that already uh, so hopefully this video will drop about a week before that drop day give you guys a look at the shoe before the drop comes so uh, okay time to sign off uh, and do what I do at the end of every single video so I'll just remind you I do this every single day even on the weekends and that means that you are guaranteed to see me tomorrow